All right, here we've got another series. Uh, we're going to ask ourselves whether it's absolutely conditionally convergent or divergent. So n equals 1 to infinity sine of pi over 2 plus n pi um, over n to the, 7, over to the 7 halves power. So, you know, I would probably be thrown off by this stuff at the very beginning, this sine of pi over 2 plus n pi. But notice if we plug in n equals 1, we'll get sine of, well, pi over 2 plus pi. That's 3 pi over 2. Sine of 3 pi over 2 just equals negative 1. If we plug in n equals 2 into the numerator, we'll get sine of, well, pi over 2 plus 2 pi, which will be um, just uh, sine of 5 pi over 2. So let's see, sine of 5 pi over 2 on the unit circle, let's see, so 3 pi over 2 is at the bottom of the circle. So again, sine is negative 1 there. Uh, 5 pi over 2, though, that's you know, 2 and a half pi, that's going to put us back at the top. And there, sine of 5 pi over 2 equals positive 1. Notice if we plug in n equals 3, we're just adding another multiple of pi, so we're going to be back at the bottom of the circle, so we'll get another negative 1. n equals 4, we'll be back at the top of the circle, so we'll get positive 1. So really, this is an alternating series. Sometimes it seems like people like to ask these questions just to try to fool you a little bit, so... It starts negative, positive, negative, positive. So I'm just going to rewrite this series first off and make it a little bit more, a little more friendly. So we could write this alternating part as negative 1 to the n, and then n raised to the 7 over 2. So this series and uh, the way it's originally written are exactly equivalent. So we could ask ourselves, is it absolutely convergent? Well, if we put our series, the formula, inside of absolute value... Again, all that's going to do is just get rid of the alternating part. So really this is the same thing. This is equivalent to the series n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the 7 halves power. But this is now a p-series, and since our p is greater than 1, this is a convergent p-series. So since it's convergent, um, we would say yes, in fact, it is absolutely convergent. So, um, so our second series, this alternating series, would be an example of an absolutely convergent series.